Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Jared Stodd here back with a brand new video. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button right now because I post every Sunday and Wednesday and the videos are always getting better. But yo, I just looked at the subscriber count a little bit ago and we're at 1.97 million subscribers. We are so close to 2 million subscribers. So if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and let's get to that 2 million subscriber mark. But you guys know that I post two times a week and the last two weeks, I've only posted once because last week I moved into a brand new house and then right after I moved in I got very very sick so I've been sick for like the past four or five days but I'm finally getting better my voice is a little bit scratchy but it's coming back so that is why I did not post on Sunday but we are back and we're gonna do two videos a week again I'm feeling better we're all settled in and I can't wait to start grinding out these videos and being inside of this big house compared to a small apartment has just made me so much more motivated and I feel like it's giving me like more energy because I'm in a more open and brighter environment every single day. But anyways, Bang Energy sent me a care package. They sent me like seven cases of Bang Energy and they sent me this really weird flavor called root beer. So I'm gonna take you guys along right now. We're gonna try it and we're gonna see if there's actually an energy drink that tastes exactly like root beer. I feel like it's gonna taste gross, but let's do it. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy when you see how many cases of Bang Energies I have. They send me like seven cases a month and I'm just gonna try and make like a Bang Energy wall with energy drinks. But Tori, do you wanna try? The root beer bang with me? Does it go with tacos? It might. Let's do it. Let's go! Okay guys, we have made it to the bang energy wall and I will show you guys. Look how big this thing is. I have no idea how many cases of bangs there are, but by the end of next year, it's gonna be to the wall at least. But on top, we have root beer, blase, bang. I don't know if this is gonna taste gross or amazing, so let's just try it out. Ah. And I guess since this is caffeine, I should probably go work out after this. I have not recorded a workout in so long, so I'm gonna take you guys along with a workout real quick. But here we go, the Bang Root Beer Blase. <sighs> Before I do this, one to 10, how good do you think it's gonna be, Tori? Eight. I'm gonna guess like a five, but here we go. It legit tastes like root beer. No way. Like cream soda or root beer, try this. I'm not kidding, that is awesome. It's actually really good in my opinion. I do like it. It's not something you could like drink every day though. You know what I mean? Like it's something you could have like once in a while, but like not every not day. Not every day. For, like an energy drink. That's why we have 84 more flavors there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. one to 10, what do you give it? Dang, what did you give it? I said- Well, I guessed a five, but I'm gonna up it to, I'll say an 8.5. I'll go with my eight. An eight? Yeah. That's a pretty good rating. All right, it is time for the gym. I have not recorded a workout in so long and I wanna take you guys along with me on one because the gym has honestly changed my life, not physically, but mentally as well. It's mentally helped me so, so much and I highly recommend you guys work out. If you can't work out every day, you can even work out just once or twice a week. I promise you it will change your life if you just stay consistent. But now that we have some energy inside of us, let's go to the gym and hit a crazy workout. my workout that was absolutely terrible it was good but I am just so exhausted from my workout but now I have to tell you guys and show you guys something that is very very serious so let's get into it as you guys can see I have my entire collection of eyeballs like I do in almost every single video and my most popular eyeballs being the three Naruto eyeballs, the Sharingan, the Rinnegan, and the Sage Mode. However, I am getting rid of my Naruto eyeballs. I can't tell you guys the exact reason right now, but I will in the next video. So right now, the very first eyeball that I'm getting rid of is the Sage Mode eyeball right here. And we actually already have the envelopes and the stamps ready. So we're gonna package up the Sage Mode eyeball 
and then put it in the mailbox and say our goodbyes with the eyeball forever. So before we do that, I'm gonna put in the Sage Mode eyeball one last time, but first I have to take out my clear eyeball. This actually makes me sad, I'm not gonna lie. Like, these eyeballs have kind of made my social medias what they are because these custom eyeballs are very cool, but it is time to get rid of these three eyeballs and hopefully move on to something even cooler with eyeballs. We will find out in the next video, but this is the last time ever putting on the Sage Mode eyeball, so let's take it out and then package this thing up. We're gonna send the person getting the Sage Mode eye a letter so we're gonna write here is the one and only sage mode I thank you so much and I can't wait to see what is next and the very last time seeing the sage mode eyeball we're going to insert it inside of this envelope and hopefully it does not get lost in the mail so the person doesn't get it either then we would both be losing the sage mode eyeball so there is the sage mode eye the very last time being seen so we're going to, we lick this, right? No, you just pull it off and it's uh, sticky. So we're gonna peel this off and we're going to shut the Sage Mode Eye in there forever. And now let's put a stamp on this right here. And now I'm going to write the addresses on here and then we're gonna take it to the mailbox. All right guys, we have everything on the envelope here and the eyeball is in here. So you guys that think I'm capping, you can obviously see it right there. And the outgoing mail, the very last time of me ever holding the Sage Mode eyeball. It was nice having it, but what's to come is even crazier, so goodbye Sage Mode eyeball. Well, the Sage Mode eyeball is officially gone from my eyeball collection forever. The Sharangan and the Renegon are the next two eyeballs. I should be getting rid of them in the next video or two, so stay tuned for that. But for the first time ever, we have actually lost an eyeball from my eyeball collection instead of gaining them. I think when I started my social media career, I only had about five eyeballs, and now I'm already up to 17 in the matter of one year, but today, we subtract one as the Sage Mode eyeball is gone forever. And you guys will find out why I'm getting rid of these eyeballs on the video that comes out Sunday. And on top of that, in the next video or two, I have a very exciting announcement to announce. It is actually freaking crazy. And I'm so happy to be a part of the news that I'm gonna tell you guys in the next video or two. So stay tuned for that. Let's just say the next few videos on this channel are gonna be absolutely insane. So make sure you're subscribed right now. But that is gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you haven't already, drop a like on this video and make sure you subscribe because we are less than 30,000 subscribers away from 2 million. I cannot wait to get there. I'll probably do a giveaway or two when I hit 2 million. So make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Peace.